the reason why they use 440 hertz as the standard tuning in predominantly most of mainstream and modern music is because 440 hertz generates harmonic distortion in the polar molecules of the body. It also triggers a fracture between the cosmic synergy of your vibrational energy, that is the frequency of your soul, and prevents it from connecting with the frequency of Mother Earth. So therefore, you are disconnected from the organic, biological, and natural world of Mother Earth. And what it winds up doing is it causes you to connect to that system. Now, if you doubt what I'm saying, just play 440 hertz and listen to how it makes you feel. Agitated, aggressive, upset. You can't sit still. It just somehow annoys you. And then listen to 432 hertz, pure tone. And you see how it has a very calming effect. Also, look at what 432 hertz does to a drop of water underneath a cymatoscope. You'll clearly see the beautiful geometric patterns and shapes being created from that vibrational frequency. Now look at what 440 hertz does to that same drop of water underneath that same cymatoscope. You could see distorted ripples, almost like a bomb is being dropped in the water. It's done that way by design. 440 hertz is the frequency of Saturn, which has been said to be the frequency of, you know, the darkness, which, you know, runs this whole establishment. So that's why they put it in mainstream music. That's why um, the Rockefellers made sure that it was a standardized tuning, I think in the turn of the last century, or I think it was like 1920s, that uh, I think it was David Rockefeller who actually forced the music industry, because they have, you know, unlimited power in that system, to actually standardize that tuning. It wasn't that before. It was 432. But there is a remarkable difference because frequencies matter. And for some reason, A440 generates harmonic distortion in the polar molecules of the body. You're, you're mainly comprised of water. And those disturbing waves generate ripples. They're very disconcerting. And it's like shock waves, like a blast underneath the ocean. And that's what throws you out of alignment with not only the earth, but only, oh, as well, your higher self. And of course, you're going to hear the, the proponents of, um, of 440 hertz because it's, it's going to be plausible deniability. And they'll get, they're going to hit you a cognitive dissonance if you bring this up. Oh, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. There's no difference. You can use all of these, these types of mechanisms to measure it. There's no difference. I've heard just a bunch of stuff. And, you know, they're all just supporting the same, you know, demonic agenda. Anything they can do to knock you out of alignment with your higher self, to keep your unlimited transformed potential masked from you, to, to lie to you, to make you completely unaware that you carry these things, because they just want you to be ordinary, common, average, everyday, you know, regular folk, you know, and you're not. You're remarkable. You're extraordinary. You are an exceptional cosmic being, homo luminous, not homo sapien. They lump you all into the same gradation, but not knowing that you're all coming from different planets because you're an alien to this planet. You know, you were brought here. The first of everything was brought here. No matter what it is, it came from somewhere else. So we are all extraterrestrials to this terrestrial sphere of innocence. There's no doubt. But if there's any doubt to the veracity of what I've said here today, then you please do your research and check it out. Because this is the reason why rap music and rock and all of it is just loaded with this stuff. And also I did a video uh, a while back about satanic backmasking. It's when you can hear a song played regular, you can't perceive it. But when you play it in reverse, you hear all of this, 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 this these messages. It's just disgusting. I mean, the, the whole system is, is, is a loaded powder keg. And it's designed in such a way to be subliminal so you don't catch it. But um, just to, you know little word of advice uh, to you that try to stay away from music that is 440 hertz because it's it's just knocking you out of alignment and knocking you out of connection with the earth the biological organic natural world um, and that forces you to you know put your energies into that system that's exactly what they want because when 440 hertz hits you you feel unsettled now keep in mind this works in tandem with the microwave towers that are buzzing around and the the chemicals in the food so it's all working against you and what's in the water and the air and everything else. It's, a, it's, a, it's an all-encompassing, full-on, you know, uh, multi-pronged attack. That's why you see these planes throwing chemtrails in the air. You see the X's in the sky and all that. That isn't because they're doing sky art. 
you know, that stuff has got deadly chemicals in it. And, you know, when that stuff starts to drift down, you're going to breathe it in and it's going to sift all over everything, the trees, the grass, your house. If you're outside, it's going to just cascade all over you and, and just coat you with that poison. So that's the intent. But uh, no matter what, they cannot stop God. They just keep forgetting about that. They just don't seem to realize that they don't have any power, even though they refer to themselves as the powers that be. That's just a, it's a bunch of nonsense.